I want first of all for the purposes of safety na kuashua watu kama iko sawa mambo ya ku disinfect when Suleiman and I spoke of the equipment we now needed to involve the experts to be able to come up with the right chemical that can be used that is human friendly and will not cause any harm so we tasked some of the county officials to be able to come up with the right chemical. And I'm also informed that the, the county officials decided to partner with Technical University of Mombasa that developed together with the county public health and ourselves and environment um, a chemical that is human friendly. Now here in Imajaribio or piloting, here Kifanikiwa, we shall announce that nobody shall board the ferry Bila Kupitia here. Lakini we will be at a point where we now supply uh, adequate equipment and adequate um, chemical to be able to ensure that both sides of the ferry, whether you are on, in the south or here, when you've crossed the other side, Amahapa, you will have to go through this equipment, this tunnel, for you to be able to be disinfected. The other thing that I want to announce the county government felt that it was necessary to be able, even for purposes of statistics, to be able to install an equipment that will tell us temperature ya watu na kuangale the basics that anybody that crosses the ferry tunaweza kuangalia sura yake capture it on our CCTV that will be able to read temperature. You know? And there was a case yesterday, Suleiman, let me tell you, when we were putting it up, because we imported it from China, already we could see so many people crossing that had over 40 degrees temperature. Really? Jana, hapa, tuliona kamba kuna watu wanavuka wengine wako na 40 degrees temperature. It worries us. So we want to be able to try and deploy technology where we think it can work we identify your face and when we come to you we tell you to monitor temperature ako iko you please understand us that we are only doing this for the purposes of keeping you and the larger population safe